So let me guess. This is the fourth time this week you've looked up aim guide because you keep going 12 and 20, and you still keep doing the same bullshit aim routine that got you there in the first place. You're like Sisyphus, if Sisyphus was a fat gamer. Let's actually try something new. Do me a favor and pull up Microsoft Paint. Now close your eyes and draw three horizontal lines. Sort of like you're tracking an enemy moving back and forth. Left to right, right to left. Now open your eyes. Do you see that curve? I have it too. It's human anatomy. But there's your problem. And we're going to need some math to fix it. These curves are why you're missing. Now humans have something called arms. And arms have elbows. Which gives our movement sort of a natural arc. But when we use our elbow and arm to control a character's eyes in game, it doesn't necessarily translate well. So every time you track horizontally, our arc is causing us to fall off head level vertically. Then you have to micro adjust back up in the middle of your gunfight. Those micro adjustments, that's time you're losing. And these micro adjustments, very small, but also vertical. So if we're trying to be very precise vertically, why the hell is your vertical sensitivity the same as your horizontal one? Now your sensitivity needs to be fast enough so that you can macro adjust, but also slow enough so that you can micro adjust. That's well and good for horizontal sensitivity, but pretty much all vertical movements are micro adjustments. So let's find a concrete example. Now let's say we're in a 1v2 on Mirage, right? We're retaken from stairs. So horizontally, where could our enemies be? Here, on ramp, they could be in Tetris, they could be under Balk, Triple, or they could be CT. Out of the 360 we could possibly do, there's about 140 degrees of possibilities where they could be. Now what about vertically? There's only one spot here, out of all the total possibilities here, where we would have to physically shift our vertical movement upwards. Now let's say we spot both of them. One's here, behind Triple, and one's over here on Palace. Mm, we kill that guy, and we flick over here. How much are we moving? Okay, so we just killed this guy, and then we gotta move all the way up here to this guy. 580 pixels horizontally, 158 pixels vertically. And mind you, this guy could be here, he could be over here, so this figure is never gonna change. This one can vary so much, he's always gonna be here vertically. So I went ahead and surveyed some of the most common situations you might find yourself on, on some of the most commonly played maps. And after working out the horizontal and vertical distances on those maps, we found out that on average, we're moving our arm 3.1 times more horizontally than we are vertically. Pi is everywhere, what can I say? And as we established earlier, the slower your aim is, the more precise you're able to be. So we could definitely scale down that vertical sensitivity and get our micro adjustments on that axis fucking dialed. Now, it is harder to move your arm this way than it is this way. So we're not going to do one third vertical sensitivity to horizontal. But since our ratio is pretty much pi, I'm going to give you this starting sensitivity. 1.15 horizontal, 1 vertical. Where'd I get that? That's pi divided by e. Mathematics finds itself in nature in many ways. Let's not deviate when it comes to turning our body into a fucking machine. Now, CS2 doesn't have a setting to adjust your vertical and horizontal uh, sensitivities, but there's a free tool. I'll leave it in the description. It's called Raw Excel. It's been around forever. All the pros use it. Don't worry, you're not going to get banned. It's not a fucking cheat. You having trouble setting that shit up? Join my fucking Discord, Mike Water 9 Swag Hangout. Some of my boys made it look all beautiful. You come and join, talk trade ups, talk skins and will help you get good at the fucking game too. Now here's your superpower, fuck the vertical ratio. You see this rotation setting right here? What the rotation setting does is offsets this natural arc that you have in your elbow. So it'll take this input and read it as completely horizontal. Now open Microsoft Paint back up real quick. Close your eyes, draw just one line. Cool, now up your rotation to one and repeat. Worse, so let's go the other direction. Negative three. Tilt it upwards now, try negative two. Perfect straight fucking line. Now for almost all of you, that number's gonna be different, right? We have different arm lengths, we're on different desks, different mouses, whatever it may be. Do it yourself, figure it out yourself. That's gonna get you the best possible result. So now, we've lowered our vertical sensitivity for precision. We've gotten rid of the natural arc in our arm. So now when you practice, you're not fighting your own fucking anatomy and you can actually start to build skill. Try for one week. Take note of your ELO on day one, and then take note of your ELO on day seven. I went from 14K, 24.5 in two months. So visit this video back in seven days, or you at me on Twitter, or go on my our, our new Discord channel. And let me know if this actually helped you, because all those aim training videos won't actually help you unless you fix the core problem. CS can be fun when you're playing with your friends, but there is no better joy in this world than experiencing mastery at something. I don't care what it is. If you play CS, you should want to be the best player in the lobby. If you're a janitor, you should want to be the best fucking janitor in the school cafeteria. That's the mindset that makes you a winner. Now good luck, and have fun.